So if you're new to Shopify and just setting up your first store, or maybe you already have a store launch, but you're ready for a little bit of a refresh, then this video is going to help you find the perfect theme for your Shopify store. Because to be completely honest, I have totally for my Shopify stores as well as client stores gone through customizing a theme only to realize, yeah, I should have just done a different theme. And now I've wasted all this time and money and I just have to make this theme work when I should have just picked a better theme in the first place. So when you're going through and looking at the theme store, it's kind of hard to figure out which theme that you should pick for your business. So I wanted to create this video to give you some help. So the first tip that I have is to really think about how many products that you have. Do you have hundreds of products that are all these different SKUs, all these different categories, or maybe do you have a handful of products that you're wanting to showcase on your site? It really does depend because the way that your site design is going to be built is going to be very different based on the needs that you have based off how many products that you have to show on your site. So for example, if you have a ton of products on your site, then you're definitely going to need to have a really good search functionality. You're wanting to have some filtering where people can filter by size or color or availability, as well as a really well displayed drop down menu so that people can both on desktop and mobile versions quickly get to the collections and the product pages on your site where if you have a bit smaller, maybe let's say 20 or under products, you're not gonna really need all of that functionality and it's actually just gonna make your site look a little bit more bare. Instead, it's going to be better for you to go with a site that doesn't have all those bells and whistles and instead is focusing on more storytelling aspects and using some lifestyle product photography to really kind of bring more of your brand and your mission throughout the site and then feature your products there. You can tell it's very different than of different customers and buying styles, all based off how many product SKUs that you have. So it's really important to keep in mind. And you can actually search on the Shopify theme store, whether it's a small or a large catalog, and you can kind of see then where what functionality is available for each. My second tip is to really keep in mind of what your individual product photography is like, because let's be honest, we'll go to the theme store and I definitely do the same as well. I will click on the themes that the photography is more attractive to me. And then I'm realizing that I'm more into the photography than I am the theme. And that's a problem because the photography honestly has probably been purchased to use for the theme store. And so if you haven't paid a lot of money and invested in that for product photography for your site, you're probably gonna have a different end result. Now I'm not saying that you can't use some of these big themes that have all this beautiful product photography. You just want to be mindful of what your current product photography is like and how that could fit in. So if you're finding a theme that has a huge slideshow image or video that you have there and you love that about that theme, but you don't personally have that, then just know that it's gonna look different. So I really recommend finding a theme that has a little bit of flexibility. So it has the type of photography and formatting that you like for what you're aiming to go for, but it also meets you in the middle where if you don't have all that right now, it's not gonna make it look like your site's just really bare or disorganized. Also, you can think about actually improving your photography as well. I recently released a video on this channel showing how I had hired three different product photographers from Fiverr to take photos for my new e-commerce store. And I was so pleased with the results. And I think it cost me like less than $700 for all three photographers. So it really wouldn't even cost that much if I wasn't trying out three different people at the same time. So there are a lot of different options for you to both improve your product photography as well as find themes that work with whatever kind of photo style that you have now. So my tip number three is functionality. So you can add a lot of different functionality into your store through third-party Shopify apps like wishlist and reward programs. However, a lot of different themes actually come with their own functionality as well. And this can be something like the bigger menus like we talked about before or filtering options, as well as having a quick view pop-up so you can see the product without going Going into the product individual page or adding in a sizing chart if you have a clothing and apparel business. So there's a lot of really cool functions that is going to be helpful if it's already built into your theme and you're not having to hire someone outside to actually add that in after. So you can actually sort by different industries whenever you're in the Shopify theme store 
And you don't have to go just specifically, okay, I'm a apparel business, I have to buy an apparel theme. You don't have to do that at all, but it can be helpful to see what kind of functionality is out there for each individual industry. So if you are a clothing and apparel business, you can sort by clothing and accessories and see different things like the size chart or the filtering. And if you know that you want to sell internationally, then you would want to use the filter of works with Shopify markets. So that way you know that it's going to be able to work with a currency and language change as well. When you click into each theme, you can see more of the functionality that they have and what kind of pages and customizations are set up. But I also always recommend going in and looking at the demo store and just clicking around and seeing, do you like, you know, how the product photos are shown on the product page and how, you know, the pop-up for the newsletter is all these little functionality bits that can really be helpful once you're actually purchased the theme and you're going through and setting it all up. It would really stink to go, oh, I didn't know it was set up like this. I don't like that. So instead, look ahead of time and make sure that you're finding a theme with the functionality that you need and it's gonna save you so much time and money. So I couldn't really do a video about finding your perfect theme without talking about the design aspect of it. So there are a lot of different designs on the Shopify theme store that give you a variety to pick from. So one of the best tips here is to actually go into each individual theme that you're considering and click around because all of them are going to look very different. And again, you're trying to keep in mind with your product photography, but you also want to think about what pages are the most important to highlight on your site. So for example, your about page, this is honestly one of the most undervalued pages. And I like to always look whenever I'm trying to find a theme and say, okay, what does their about page look like? And does it have some functionality and design aspects that I like? And it's going to be easy for me to customize. Thankfully with the online store 2.0 Shopify version, we now can easily drag and drop things around on product pages, collections, just individual pages. It makes it so much easier to customize a theme. However, it is nice to find a theme that already has some of this set up. So that way you don't have to go in and just completely build something new from scratch. So going in and seeing, okay, do I like the about page or the contact page or the blog layout? You really can't change too much of the blogging layout with a lot of themes once you've actually purchased that. So whenever you're looking at the themes, if you know that you want to be adding in blogging for SEO for your store, then take a look at the blog layout and make sure that it fits with your goals for your business as well and your overall design aesthetic. Yes, there can be so much that can be customized on these themes, but the framework overall, you want to make sure that it has the features and the kind of design framework that you're looking for. You can also go in and add it to your Shopify store and start customizing it to see how easy it is for you to customize. And then if you like what you are creating, then you can always purchase the theme whenever you go to publish it on your site. This is a really cool functionality that Shopify has if you use the themes through them. And it's a helpful way to kind of test drive a little bit to see if something actually will end up working for you once you add in some of your own different designs and images. And my last tip is to not forget about mobile design. So much of traffic online now is from mobile devices and it's just going to increase year after year. So if you don't prioritize your mobile design, then you're really leaving so much money on the table. So make sure that you're looking at how the site design actually looks on mobile devices. And it's cool now with the Shopify theme store, they actually show you the mobile design so you can see exactly how that looks and how it goes from the bigger desktop version scaled down to the mobile site, which is really helpful to see because it is going to kind of condense the information and reshuffle the order somewhat. But you want to make sure that you're picking a theme that really works with mobile and gets your product seen a lot quicker because they're not going to want to be doing all these crazy scrolls on mobile devices. With mobile, you really want to make sure that the site has prioritized having your products first on mobile and really kind of cutting out some of the other fluff that maybe you're okay to show on desktop, but you really want to make sure that mobile is very specific and targeted about getting your products out in front of your viewers quickly. So I hope you found those tips helpful. I would love to know if you're picking out a new theme, just type in the comments below which themes that you are considering, which ones you have chosen, if you like it, if you don't like it, 
I would love to know what you've gone with. I will admit I'm looking at a couple new themes as well. So I'll let you know if I make a change as well. And I am coming out with a new video soon all about customizing your store design. So actually showing you step by step once you've chosen a theme, how to customize the different pages like your home collection, product pages, about pages, and so on. So if that video is already out, you can watch it right here. If not, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. And that way you'll be the first to be notified when I put out new videos all about Shopify and how to grow your e-commerce store.